When considering buying a backpacking stove, there's a lot of things to consider. One of those things is where you're going, how long you're going to be there, and the type of fuels that are available. If you're traveling in some parts of the world, white gas is not, a, is not an available fuel. So if all you bring with you is a white gas stove, you might find yourself in trouble. So a little bit of research uh, can go a long way in avoiding mishaps in other parts of the world. But for the most part, white gas is very convenient, very comfortable, uh, easy to find in this part of, of the, uh, the world. So an example of a white gas stove might be something like this uh, little Svey stove. Really rips out, uh, it's a nice loud roar. Um, all you do is put some, um, put some white gas in it, prime it, and away it goes. It really roars. Um, been using stoves like this for years and years. Um, another stove like this, um, you have to, and remember, price is going to be one thing, you know. Uh, some stoves are very efficient, some stoves are expensive and not efficient, so do, do, your, do your research. This is a dual fo fuel stove. And then it will use a couple of different types of fuel so that if you run out of one type, you might not be stuck. You could use a, like a regular type gas. Um, and for a stove like this, all you need to do is pump it up, create the pressure instead of prime, that is priming it, and then, and then light it and adjust the flame. So you have your fuel type stoves, okay, your liquid type fuels. Uh, here's another one smaller version of a, like a camp type stove. Um, now remember weight is a factor. This is fairly heavy. Right? Uh, because in addition to this you're going to need your fuel bottles which you're going to need to provide enough fuel to cook all of your food and boil your water for the entire duration of your trip. So the more efficient the less fuel you're going to have to carry. And Remember liquids are heavy when backpacking. So, stove like this is another multi-fuel stove put up by Coleman. Now, there are other types of fuels. This is a prepackaged fuel canister type stove. Uh, and in this canister, there's propane and butane mixed. Okay? Propane is a bad choice for backpacking because it doesn't work real well when it's cold. But when you add butane to that propane, it works pretty well in, in cold temperatures. The disadvantage of this is when you're all done, you still have all of this waste. So you're still going to have to carry out this waste canister. And it really serves you no purpose other than just taking up space. But it is a good cho choice for, uh, for a stove. Easy, lightweight. Sometimes the fuels for some of these special type stoves are hard to find in faraway places. So just beware or make sure that you always have enough. Along with your stoves, you're going to need a good cook kit. But that's something else that you want to consider. Uh, so thanks again. Safe adventures.